well, we're not too far away from our third and final game here on Triple Header Day, the opening round of the 2023 Women in League Premiership here in Auckland. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Congratulations to all four teams that have played so far today, and congratulations to the winners who have been Otara Scorpions and the Howard Cornets. So we now move to our third game, Otahuhu Leopards up against the Mount Albert Lionesses. And uh, great to see Mount Albert back in the competition after a couple of years out. A couple of good players in their team. Lydia Quedley in there, number seven. Auckland Vulcans player from last year. Has experience in Australia. Was in the 27 in Cook Islands World Cup team. Lydia Quedley. And a uh, couple have moved over to uh, Pamela McCarty. Moana Cook. Roy Mata Amosa Tiro. All rep players, as uh, is Danica Manasse, who's playing in the centres. And here is the Otahu Leopards team. And their standout player to us, Angelina Leotawa, the double international, two-time international for Kiwi, for the Kiwi Ferns and for Fetu Samoa as well. Kamu Uhila wearing five as a Tongan international from a couple of years ago. And they're coached by George Carmont, a... Uh, a very good player, of course, back in his day. 83 games for the Knights and a long career at Wigan as well. And uh, great to see him back into coaching now with uh, coaching the De La Salle team last year to win the national title, runners-up at the Auckland Championship as well. And now he's coaching Otahu senior women's team, which is good fun. Yeah, and he was also our um, assistant coach for Kiwi Ferns at the World Cup. Um, and he's a great coach too, old George. Um, such a calm cool, collected kind of guy and um, obviously got a wealth of knowledge, um, you know, that he shared with us for the Kiwi Ferns. So, yeah, it's awesome to see George coaching and um, awesome to see him coaching at Odahu uh, specifically because I know that's um, a club that's close to his heart, you know, where he's uh, spent a lot of his career before obviously venturing into uh, the Knights and then over into the Super League. Yeah, into Wigan, yeah. Great career at Wigan, 153 games at Wigan so the two teams just about to come out onto the field here So awesome to see so many new faces in, in, in the women's um, space in rugby league and to see our game growing. Also, it's awesome to see um, the Mount Albert Lionesses back into the competition um, who had left the competition for a couple of years and when they were present, they did really well and um, good to see them back and... Um, have Tash coaching them, who's um, also an uh, ex-Kiwi firm player and um, a very good and skillful player at that. So good to see Tash uh, giving back to back to the women's game by um, coaching not just the Mount Albert side, but she's already uh, also done coaching in um, the younger grades as well. So yeah. Yeah, Akarana 18's coach last year was. Tasha Davey, Mount Albert coach. So here we go, Mount Albert against Otahu. Going to be the Leopards to kick off. Third and final game here today. Cornwall Park. Hope you've been enjoying the action as the Leopards get us underway through their winger, Carmel Uhila, and straight away. Here come Mount Albert into the action. Pamela McCarty, a very experienced player. Of course, she's thumped though by Leia Tawa, who's in there making a big shot on her straight away. Mount Albert looking to spread the ball, and here comes Natasha McPherson. Oh, she's lost it. Lost it, so Otahu going to get a scrum 30 metres out right in centre field here. A great first off defensive efforts there from Otahu. 
good tackle technique there, and I know that's one of George's favourites, George Carmont's favourites, to teach tackle tech, and he's done that well with his girls, as we've seen in these opening scenes for the Leopards. So great, great opportunity here for the Leopards. Oceania Leotawa feeds the scrum. And here comes the fullback, Louis. Louis playing the ball here, 15 metres out. Here's Leotawa getting those big legs pumping as she loves to do. Right into the thick of it. She looks highly motivated. And Ruapene at dummy half. That's Louis flinging it out to Shaumkul. Shaumkul going straight up the middle here, but there's a little bit of instruction there. And it's going to be a penalty to Mount Albert. That's really unfortunate. It was promising, looking promising there for the Leopards. Now Mount Albert get an opportunity. Let's see if they can cook something up here, but not playing at the end of the football field, they would like to at the moment, Mount Albert. Thought you were using a pun there for a minute, Glenn, because uh, the girl who had the ball in her hand, her name is Moana Cook. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was completely accidental, Crystal. <laughs> here comes Cook, with Cook the again. <laughs> good little start here. Manurea were player, of course, last year with you, Crystal. Yes, and she's a good player at that. She's been in Japan, actually, Glenn, and ah. it's good to see her back. Well, playing rugby up there. Interesting. Now, L Lydia Quedley there has just dropped the ball here. That's not... So here comes Otahu and now it's Louis. Good carry. Oh, Shamkul again is already showing out quite strongly, isn't she? Now La Tower again. Plenty of early touches for her. Here's Carmont at dummy half. Avery Rose Carmont. Good tackle coming in that time from Sumalo for Mount Albert. On the 20 meter line. With Tahu still. Coming away nicely, and now it is Fa'amasuli Tulua, but all gone a little bit pear-shaped for the Leopards as Uhilia goes back to pick up the ball. Still here on the last play for Otahu. Well, they're playing football on this last play. Don't want to be caught in possession. It's still there. That's come off the foot. I don't think there's a knock-on. That should be, still be play on, and it is. So Otahu have the chance. Good tackle. On Fakal Silia, and that should be a turnover. So some pretty desperate defence there by Mount Albert does the job. That was very good defence by Mount Albert, and as the ball was getting offloaded, they were just flying up one by one and making some good, good tackles there. Now they've got an opportunity to get out of their half. Well, let's see if they can do that. It was Lenny Noah with that first carry for the Lionesses. Mount Albert come forward again. It's good to see Moana Cook in the middle of the field at 13 usually playing in the halves, but she can play that ball playing role through the middle of the park. McPherson. That was Cairns at dummy half. There goes the kick from Quidley. And he, she's found space too. Louis going back here for Otahuhu. A good chase coming downfield from Taufa. And now Mount Albert can apply some defensive pressure here on Otahuhu. Let's see if they can do so. Adams, it is caught in possession. Yeah, 
This, can, this defense is Queen, eh? uh, very keen as Quinley makes that tackle again for Mount Albert. And then she's in there again making a tackle, but, oh, that's a good carry from Otahu. Hard lead has been made here. Laetawa's been um, involved a lot in this first opening minutes of this game. Had some very strong carries down that edge. Yeah, of course, she's a sister of Ali Laetawa, of course. He's in the Warriors at the moment, and they're all related to Ali Laetidi. I think he's their uncle. Good hands here on this wing here from Short Wilcox for Mount Albert, and she's off. Isabeau Short Wilcox, good carry. Edmonds and now here comes Muffy for Mount Albert Cairns at dummy half oh, a little bit messy for Mount Albert quickly going back to pick it up she said hard but it's still there for Mount Albert As McCarty comes forward now, that's Cook. And now here is McPherson again with a late offload. Still here for Philippa Smith. And now it's Muffy back on the inside here going close to scoring. Good defence though from the Leopards. Well, it's an evenly matched start, isn't it, between these two teams? Quedley. Out it comes for Manasse. And who's desperate for the ball? It's going to be the Leopards who come up with it. Who did well there to the, the goal line defense was strong. Now Adams takes a run. Good robust carry coming forward here from Shamkul, whose ball carrying has been very, very impressive. Shown out early in this game for the Leopards. Along with Leia Tower, now Louis takes a hard carry for Otahu. Loving the strength and power from the Otahu Lep Leopards. Very strong ball carriers. Good defense there from Mount Albert. Very dominant. Adams playing the ball for Otahu. And now here comes Shamkul again. How good she been in the first 10 minutes of this game? She's had several carries and they've been very effective ones. Now the ball's going to Leotawa. Just didn't quite get the timing, the pass right there from Avery Rose Carmont. Who gets the ball back at dummy half again. Looking to create some space behind the ruck. Good solid contact on her, though. Latawa at dummy half. Now, here comes Jadine Ruapene down towards the goal line. So, Otahuhu now right where they need to be to score the opening points of this game. Oceania Latawa. And the freeing of the pass. But the numbers were there for Mount Albert, whose defence is excellent. Good scrambling D by them. Still here for Utahu. Big crossfield kick. And almost oh. scored brilliantly by Laetawa. I thought she was in there. Good crossfield kick. She had a caught that on the four. I'm sure that power would have got her over the line. Oh, Laetawa, Angelina Laetawa. Oh, that second grab there, Crystal. Yeah, wow. they didn't quite grasp it. Of course, Laetawa's uh, had 
played with you in the Warriors, of course, back in 2017 and 2018. Yeah, she's played with us in the Warriors. She's been a part of our uh, Kiwi Ferns. Still only 26. Yeah, she's still got a, a lot of years left in her. She's done some stints in rugby and done well there. So um, she's definitely, I'd say, one of the best second rowers that I've played with in rugby league. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Here's a great dab out of dummy half by Milania Cairns for Mount Albert. Quirley on the inside pass. Pamela McCarty. Up towards the halfway line. Very experienced player is McCarty. Quirley. He's holding the ball nicely as Manasseh. And now here comes Talfa for Mount Albert. Good, good set here from Mount Albert. They went 70 metres there. Hard on their own line. Oh, it's been stunk cold dropped by Louis, and here comes Mount Albert. And that is Smith. So Philippa Smith. Here's big charge for the line here. And that's the first try. Lossi Mathi goes over to score for Mount Albert. Off the era from Shania Louis and Mount Albert in what's been a very competitive opening to the game grabbed the first try. What a great try that was. And Mount Albert there were just building pressure. It's getting towards the back end of their sets. Got the kick down and unfortunately Louis there just couldn't catch that ball. That's oh, not Louis, sorry. But what a brilliant try there. Yeah, Murphy, look at the space here. Over she goes to score it. So just bear with us. A couple of uh, numbers in these two teams we're just not uh, sure about. So we will uh, we are endeavouring to get those rectified for you. But uh, the try was scored by Lossi Muffy. And tough conversion attempts coming up here for Taufa. He used to play for Otahu last year. Nothing like coming on to the beginning of a new season and playing against your old team, the old teammates, and always makes it that little bit harder playing against your, your mates that you played alongside in the previous season. Yes, indeed. It's not there. She's kicking really into the wind there. It's tougher, but not converting the try. So the Lionesses lead forward to nil over the Leopards, courtesy of that try for Lossi Muffy. Just picking up a little bit here at Cornwall Park as well. It's going to be an interesting day game weather-wise at, at Mount Smart tomorrow with the Warriors playing the Roosters, that's for sure. It's so windy through there. I know that yeah. much, Glenn, like the last, when they played the Cowboys and I was sitting down sideline right. and you guys were nice and warm up in the commentary box. Oh, man, it was so windy and so cold. <laughs> Tomorrow could be you throwing some rain tomorrow as well. It's a pretty nasty rain as well. Oh, it's been dropped that time, and Wakahu have got it. And Laetawa. Shrugs off a couple of tackles and off she goes on Jelena Laotawa and takes two or three players with her as well. And here comes Shamkul. Good carry. Louis trying to shrug off tackles there. Shamkul again. 
And now Laetawa close to the line. Angelina Laetawa is over. Too powerful. And there is the double international scoring the try for the Leopards. Hasn't taken the long to, to lock the scores up again. What a fight back from Odahu there and wouldn't expect anything less from Angelina, Angelina Laetawa. Too powerful there to get over and score the first try and put the points on the board for the Leopards. I know. And it's waved away, so four points all. Leia Tower getting the try. Catch from the kickoff here. It's nice and taken by Henry for Otahu. Look at that keen defence from Mount Albert. Getting up nice and early off the line. The ruts, their line speed is very good so far, the Lionesses. And they're really wrestling in the, in the tackle too, Glenn, and that's, you know, slows the play the ball down, obviously. So great defence from the Lionesses so far. It was Pukaya getting up there, the interchange player, number 15, right in the face of that Otahu player, who is Penny. And now here comes Shamkul again. Feels very even this contest, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. Down to the wire in this game. Both teams just weathering the storm in, the, in this first half. So Louis with that kick, and it's well weighted. No, it isn't. It's just a fraction long. So Mount Albert will have a seven tackle set on the twenty. Let's see what they can make of this. The Lionesses' first uh, carry is Tolfa. Davies got a team very keen on defense as we see Edmonds. Edmonds wins the penalty for Mount Albert. It's a welcome penalty, isn't it? Can't, you can't under, uh, or, you know, the impact that penalty you can get in your own half. Mount Albert again. Here and there, maybe. Let's have a look and see if we can pick that up. Well, it was Cook. Back on the inside for Pakaya. Yep, a little, little error there. One of those 50 50 ones, isn't it? Yeah, not sure if the hand was on there. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, we're not the bunker. We're just the commentators. Exactly. <laughs> well, the weather's closing in, isn't it? But still no rain here as we see 
Pahu come forward again through Oceania Leatawa. Now here comes Schmitzopuanga for Tahu. Fresh out of high school, Macaulay. High school last year, losing to Auckland Girls Grammar in the final of the Auckland Secondary Schools Championship. So good to see players coming through from that competition last year. Here come the Leopards again through Alexandra Penny. Come on, waits that dummy half again. They're inside the 20. Here comes Shumkul. Little short ball that time. Might have been a touch forward. Could have got away with that one there too. Farmasili Tulua. He's 10 metres out. Here goes the kick from Shumkul. It's gone back off Farmasili Tulua. And that's going to be a handover with Henry wrapped up. Been some really good defence from the uh, Mount Albert side, putting on a lot of pressure by just pushing up and getting numbers in the tackle, um, making some really dominant tackles there. So now they get the opportunity to have an attacking set. Good tackles from the Tahu's players. It's a good front on shot from Alexandra Penny. And now the next carry in Manessi is going nowhere. For Mount Albert, Monaco Magpies player last year. Coming up to the Lionesses. Oh. What a That's hit. the best shot of the day so far, isn't it? Anareya Marsh with that one from Otahu. What a hit. <laughs> Quirly going nowhere for Mount Albert. Yeah, it's worth a replay, isn't it? Fortunately, she was trying to just catch that ball and got wiped out in the oh. bottom. Uhila, what a chase right there from Matt Albert's Lossi Murphy, the try scorer. And I think Otau have got a penalty here, have they? Oh, great chase. Uhila. Back, Mafi, yeah, right around the neck. Lossi Mafi, looking for a nice aggressive tackle, just drifting up a touch high. Good touch finder here from the Leopards. Has a full set for them coming inside Mount Albert's half. So Henry gives it to... Or for Kimiafu, County's 80s player from last year. Good to see a couple of those players sneaking into this team now. A couple more too. Mercy Tulua, the front rower, and Farmasuli Tulua, who we've seen touch the ball. In fact, here she is right here, County's 80s player from last year. I can't right believe she's 18. She does not look 18. No, absolutely. Now, Otau looking to... Spread the ball this time. This is looking good for the Leopards. Out it comes here for Carmont. Carmont trying to struggle. The shrug off tackle. She's still going over. He rose Carmont. Very close to the line now. Another penalty's actually come for the Leopards here. Now Otahu just looking to up the pace and intensity at the moment. Crystal. Yeah, they are. That's a good run by Carmon. Let's see what Marsh can do after that big hit she just put on. Well, she's level. Good tackle coming in from the number nine. Cairns for Mount Alberts. It's still there for Otahu. Oh, just couldn't go to hand. Chance in the corner, perhaps. Oh, some great scrambling defence again from Mount Albert. And Lay, they can't crack them at the moment. No, Adams just looked for that flick pass in, but unfortunately a little thumble there. So there's the ruling by the referee. It's going to be a changeover again for Mount Albert. Well, let's see how Mount Albert come off their own line. They're getting... Some pretty decent defence put on her is Frisia Pukaya. 
Cairns waits that dummy half again. Ponsonby player from last year. And Albert still inside their 30. Albert Jones. Right on the 30. Now here's Cairns again. Oh, great little dab coming from Moana Cook. Tries to get around Louie, can't get past her. Oh, she's lost she's it lost too. It great tackle from Shania Louie. So unfortunate there. Such a great play by Moana Cook to get that break. And then, fortunately, just in the tackle there, she's lost the ball. This is a very tight game, though, isn't it, Crystal? Yes, extremely tight. Both teams look really evenly matched. They do. Great little dab here. Great pass to Cook, who found space behind the ruck. Look at the pace. Great cover tackle there, though. Let's see what Otahu can make of this one. Almost lost the ball there, didn't she? But she was okay. All good hands from Uhila. Still there for Otahu. Here's Marsh. Put the big shot on, and they really want to knock her down, don't they? <laughs> it was a good hit there, but looks like she's injured herself in the process. Yeah, Mafi, who's come out second best there. Amosatiro. Akarana player from last year. And referee's going to stop play now to see how bad Mafi is. Oh, shame for Lossi Mafi. She's uh, been trying to get stuck in and be really aggressive. They try and dominate collision, but came out second best from that one with Marsh four points all tries in the game to Latawa for Otahu and Mafi the injured play here for Mount Albert she's all good yeah, she looks tough doesn't she yeah she's been good for Mount Albert so far so hopefully she remains in this game because they, they need her and like you said earlier Glenn it's evenly matched so glad to see her back up on her feet Well, Tahu coming forward now, looking to spread it out to Laetawa. Pretty fancy passing. His <laughs> Shamkul kicks it. Don't know if that was supposed to happen. Here's another kick from Shamkul. And it was a little messy from Otahu. But in the end, Mount Albert survive. And they come away with it. see what Cairns can do from dummy half it's a good run that was right out of your playbook Crystal yeah, <laughs> that was a good run looks like both sides are starting to fatigue a little bit here Glenn yeah I agree let's see if Murphy can get back into the action again that's a terrific run in traffic still on her feet I like the look of Lossy Murphy now Smith now Albert got a good roll on here as we see Taylor Albert Jones head down towards the red zone now. Just uh, 20 metres out. Cook. Quedley can't quite link up, but it bounces nicely for Taufa. And Taufa, that's how to score a try. Very good play. One of the best sets we've seen in the game so far. And rightly finished off with a four pointer. It's eight points to four. Great try there. Started off with Quidley. She's she's been highly involved in the in the beginning of this game, Quidley. As we see the replay here. Straight from dummy half to Cook. Even that was a nice ball. Quick little flick pass on and good pickup as well. Good pickup of the ball. Bounced nicely for her to pick it up. Nice try in the corner. Eli Sunny Alpha goes over to score against her old team. No better feeling than that, Glenn, scoring against your own team in the opening uh, game of the season. 
Well, there is a better feeling, and that's converting her own yeah. try, <laughs> which is, she's about to try and do right here. We'll see if she can do it. Tough conversion attempt. Especially with the, how the wind is out there. Yeah, that wind is blowing right into her face. Coming from the easterly direction, ahead of that uh, nasty weather system forecast to hit Auckland tomorrow. takes that one right across the face so no conversion so two tries to one it is with the Lionesses in front of the Leopards hope you're enjoying the coverage here of a triple header day round one action in the 2023 Women in League Premiership the Lionesses leading the Leopards by 8 points to 4 just under 10 to play till half time earlier we had Otara beating Manurewa by 80 points to 6 and Howick too strong for City, beating, winning that one, 38 points to 10. Another game coming up in the Women Elite Premiership on Wednesday night. We're going to see Mount Albert again on Wednesday night, playing Manurewa. And that will be the second game of a double header with the opening game on Wednesday night, a Fox Memorial Round 1 match. Involving Point Chef, the defending champions, against an opponent, which will be confirmed later today from today's qualifying rounds. The final round of that. Rain starting to come across Cornwall Park now. Nice angled run back on the cutback by Mount Albert. player on the field, Araya. You see the tempo of the game change a bit here, Glenn, with the rain, and obviously uh, both teams are going to have to change it up a little bit, play a bit more safe, and to keep the ball a bit more secure, be a bit slippery out there. Yes, indeed. It's going to be challenging conditions for sure now, as we have Henry coming forward for Otahu. really starting to uh, get quite gnarly as we see Utahu coming through Oceania Leotawa Carmont waits at dummy half here's Penny good run by Alexandra Penny she's been good off the interchange since coming on last play now for the Leopards 20 metres out and there's Shamkul's kick rebounded nicely off the Mount Albert player, Sumalo, but going back to salvage the day is Otahu, so they will have a fresh set here, starting on the halfway line. Oh, unfortunate there. Yeah, I wonder if Sumalo should have just dived on the yeah, ball there. Yeah, that would have been the better option. Oh, good run from Shamkul, and offloads beautifully. This is Louis now for the Leopards. Looking strong, Otahu looking to bounce back like they did. When Laotau scored that first try as Carmont takes the line on again. Good tackle by Lydia Quedley. Now Laotau. Angelina Laotau getting those big legs pumping. Wrap the ball up. That's a good ball. Still and tackle. Going. She's still there. Still going. Oh, She's no in. Way. No way. Just too big. Too powerful. Oh, so powerful. Leia I've Tower. seen that on many occasions. She <laughs> just keeps pumping her legs. You think the tackle's complete. The ref hasn't caught it, and she's well aware of that. She just keeps pumping her legs, and that's the result. She scored her second try of the game. There's no way anyone's oh. going to be able to stop her by holding her jersey. Those legs of hers are just <laughs> way too powerful. Yeah, she should have been wrapped up here, but there you go. There's three defenders there, too. Excellent try. She's got two tries in the game now. Angelina Leotawa. And now the Leopards can take the lead here through Uhila. Kama Uhila. Used to play football for Tonga yeah. at underage level. 
Um, he's actually played in OFC tournaments. Pretty amazing. Switching to rugby league, though. Ex-Richmond Roses player. And uh, he's touched on, played for Tonga in rugby league back in 2020 against Nui in a curtain raiser to New Zealand's game against Fetu Samoa. That was in the middle of the COVID pandemic. You might recall that. Yes, that game. I do. That was when we were so happy to get some footy, get some footy in. Yeah, I think those were the only kind of major games of rugby league played in New Zealand that year. Yes, it was. You're right there, Glenn. It definitely was. Yeah. So 10 points to 8. It all seems like a nightmare now. Bad dream, doesn't it, all those, year, those years, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? It does. Of the, of, the, of the pandemic. So 10 points to 8. Now, Otahu leading the Lionesses. I don't know about you, Crystal. I reckon Mount Albert have had the slightly better of the game so far. Yeah, they reckon? have. They, well, much, they definitely though. have. And, I mean, you know, if it wasn't for Angelina Leotawa scoring those two tries, you know, she's definitely been the point of difference for, um, for the Leopards. But, um, yeah, Mount Albert have, have had, you know, some good plays in there. They've done some brilliant um, defence. You know, we spoke of their defence earlier. So, no, I agree with you, Glenn. It's not by much. It's a very even contest. But top-level sport's all about execution, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's all about execution. When we talk about football, you can look great playing football, but if you don't score a goal, you're not going to win the game, <laughs> are you? And it's a bit like uh, a bit like rugby league. You can look okay, but if you've got one brilliant player in your team who's capable of scoring two brilliant tries, like La Tower has done, you can win a game of rugby league. And here come the Leopards. Great charge up the middle here by Alexandra Penny again. How good has she been yeah, since she, coming on? She came off the bench and she's just brought so much energy. She's just got that go forward and sometimes that's all you need, someone to just go forward for you. Great offload by Shamkul late there. How she did that, I don't know. Now here's Shania Louie and Shamkul's back up again to carry on the play here. And now look out, here's Leia uh -oh. Tower in space again. <laughs> They've got her down to deck this time. Oh, another try here for the Leopards. Oh, it's gone to ground and it's gone forward. Off oh, Avery Rose. Come on, that's unlucky. The Leopards would have loved another score just before the break. And that was looking promising with Leia Tower with the ball in her hands, but that was a good tackle on her. I think uh, the Lionesses are well aware that they need to shut her down and push up on her she's such a hard person to tackle and got to get up and get up on her early wrap the ball up and stop her from pumping her legs as we've seen earlier and that's how she scored her second try so Mount Albert again forced to bring the line the ball out off their own line Cook back on the inside to Muffy Satiro waits that dummy half. What a tackle. Yeah, it's, our, it's our player again, Laetawa. Absolutely mowed her down as Cook. Swings it back on the inside. For Pakaya. For Mount Albert. Inside the last two minutes of this first half, here's Moana Cook again. Good little play there for Mosatiro. Cook at dummy half. Here goes the kick to end the set. A pretty decent one there for Mount Albert. The bounce is good too. As Lily Noah chases through and looks to make a tackle here on Louis. Good chase too by Imogen Edmonds for Mount Albert. It's good oh. game awareness too there, Glenn, from Quidley to see the space on their edge and kick the ball into space. How valuable would an era be now for Mount Albert if they could lure one out of this Otahu team? Here is Oceania. Lea Tawa. Late offload to Carmont again. Carmont's been highly busy in this game. She's got really involved on attack and on defense as well. She's done a lot. Yeah, good energy. So Shania Lea Tower has cut down again. Or in fact, that might be Rupene that time. Now off and Kinyafu on the 30 for the Leopards. 
30 seconds left in this first half with Tahu. Not a great set, was it? Looked a little bit fatigued as they came out of their own off their own line there. And now Mount Albert through Manasse. Very even game between these two sides. Two famous names, of course, in the rugby league in Auckland, Mount Albert and Otahu. Oh, good initial contact coming in there from Laotawa. Finished off nicely. It's Muffy. She's been in the wars in this first half, hasn't she? Good. She has. Good, strong hit there on Makari. None other, none other than Laotawa. Oh, Quedley. Looking for a little space behind the, the ruck, but it shut down quickly through Laotawa. Here's Makati again. So we're in out of time in this first half now, and uh, here is Cook again. Cook. Oh, sells the dummy, and Moana Cook is through. And has she got it down? She has. Has she? Oh, hang on. We've got to be here. Oh, she hasn't she been. She hasn't. Wow. What a try-saving tackle at the end of the first half from Louis. From our angle, it looked like she had that ball down. Oh, let's check it out again. Great run from Moana Cook. What a tackle. Wow, that's close, isn't it? But I reckon they got it right, the officials. What so a last try few, saver. Well, yeah. Right at the end of the first half as well. Now, now it could be the leaders right now had it not been for that try saving tackle. Oh, it's been lost, and Mount Albert still have it. The ball is still live. Here's a kick and chase play from Taufa. Oh. Harlock didn't get the bounce. It's still there, though. And now, play can conclude in the first half. Well, what a finish to the end of the first half. What a finish. I think Leotawa needs to go to the blood bin. She's got a bit of blood pouring out of her nose. Well, she's had an influential time in the first half. And that conversion by Uhila in the of the second Utahu who tries, given the leopards the lead, but it's very tight here at half time. It's Otahu ten leading the Lionesses eight. Is this the same score as the Fijian Cup, supporting Grassroots Fiji. With international teams flying in to go up against the best club teams in Fiji. Over 50,000 in prizes for each sport, the Fijian Cup is placing a spotlight on untapped talent. A tournament like no other. You are. So. Half time here, 10 points to eight to the Leopards. Well, I, I'm not, I don't know about you, Crystal, but I can't pick this. This is a very close game. Yeah, definitely a close game. It, I mean, I was the same in the game previous, so it could have gone either, you know, either way, but this is, a, you know, only two points the difference. It's such a close game, and, you know, there's nothing differentiating them, you know, too much. So, you know, this, this try here was just off the back of, a, of an error. Yeah, Gila dropping the ball there. And then Muffy 
Goes over to score the first try on this left flank here. Watch the number 12 here. It's a simple stroll over for her. But Otahu came straight back and the arguably the most experienced and a player on the field, Leia Tawa. Former Kiwi Ferns, former Fetu Samoa, played for the Black Ferns too. Back she was when she was a teenager. She got her first try, so it was four all in Taufa. That one goes to ground, but Taufa picks it up. A lot of work to do here, Crystal. Yeah, there was a lot of work to do, and you know, that bounce and it could have, could, you know, she could have not picked that up, but she picked it up well. Still had a bit of work to do to get outside the, the winger there, but she did that and got, got into the corner to score herself a try. And then obviously this one here, Laetawa again, too powerful, just bumping off everyone in her, in her road to score her second try of the game. She's an absolute beast. Look at yeah. that, she's got three players on her. No way, no one's going <laughs> to stop her with that, you know, by pulling her jersey. Yeah, channeling her famous uncle, of course, for that second try there, Le 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 Ali Lautiti. And that one converted by Uhila, which gives the Leopards the lead by 10 points to 8. And that's really the only difference between the two teams. Yeah, it'll be a little bit different, now, obviously, with how the wind is. Um, you know, they were um, Mount Abbott was struggling with the, with the wind with their kick, so they're a little bit different now. The wind will be going in the opposite direction. Yeah, and it is strong wind today. Weather's holding out here. We just had that brief shower rain during a couple of minutes there of that first half. Now the sun's back out on this side, peeping it is through. Indeed, it's good. Well, I hope you're enjoying the game here on uh, Auckland Rugby League's YouTube channel. What a day for women's rugby league! A triple header for you, for you. and we've got one half to go. In a finely balanced game between the Lionesses and the Leopards. So Mount Albert start the second half. Tahu who have the first carry. It's going to be Henry. Come on into dummy half. And again, the defence from Mount Albert. Their line speed has been a real feature of the game. They really haven't given much space to Otahu at all in this game so far. Oh, there's a little error. And that's come forward a bit. Off who though? It's going to be interesting to see who the referee rules that one. Yes, definitely. Tahu with that loose pass, so it's going to be Mount Albert. Probably just wanted to hold that there and take the tackle, but their de Mount Albert's defense has been great. You know, right on their A, Bs, and Cs around that ruck area, they're really pushing up and putting pressure on the leopards. You know, who are doing one out passing and shutting that down. So it's been great, great defense from Mount Albert. So Quedley's going to feed the scrum. Richmond Roses player last year. And now let's see what Matt Albert can cook up here from Smith. Nice hands to Manasse. On the left wing side is short Wilcox. She hasn't seen too much ball. A nice play from Matt Albert. Coming down to the 20. Here's Cook. He's been one of their standouts so far. Not the biggest player, but she's been very active. Now McPherson, hit strongly by our opposite number, Ruapene. Here's Cook. Quedley again. They're inside the 10. Here comes Manasse. Manasse! Has she got that down? She definitely got that one down. There's the try. Held up in the first half, right near the end of the first half. They're not to be denied two minutes into the second. Brought them back into the game. This is a great try here. It was hard to see from this angle, but the line, the sight linesman there, he's right there, so he can see. Step back in, step back out. 
here's the angle we want to see. There it is. Yeah, no doubt about that one. Very similar to Telfer's try in the first half. Yeah, wasn't it, it is. It's very similar. On the, uh, on the other side. So Mount Albert reclaimed the lead. Third try of the game for them. I think the wins in, in their favour uh, this half. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's hard to know with... That's nicely sheltered here. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to my compass, I'll just check the w direction of the wind today. She's kicking, uh, it'll be across the face of the post here. Oh. Well, the ball just showed us which way the wind's going, and it's not towards the goalpost. Definitely not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's where it is. Yeah, so 12 points to 10. Tough conversion attempt there for Taufa. We don't need your compass, Glenn. No, we don't. <laughs> it just didn't go over. <laughs> So three unconverted tries. But when you're in front, it doesn't matter. 12 points to 10. So uh, not what Otahu's coach, George Carmont, would have wanted. Straight after halftime, the concession of, a, of the lead. Mount Albert looking to build on that lead and straight into the action is McCarty. Hit strong. That's good defence coming in from Rupini. Really good chase and uh, good support from Carmont as well. Cook. Nice hands. And Mount Albert still have it. Looking for gaps. Amusa Tiro it is. Here's Cook from Dummy Ha pinching 10 metres. She's been one of Mount Albert's best so far in the game. She has great awareness from her to see that the markers, you know, were out of play and to hit in behind that block hole there. Quedley. Haven't seen too much of Joanne Sumalo. But here she is now with her hands on the ball. Amosatiro. Cook again. Giving it to McCarty. Mount Albert looking good here. Spreading the ball nicely. It's the last play. What can Smith cook up here? Great pass, Murphy! And Edmonds, she's there! Good try for the Lionesses. Two tries since half time now, and they extend their lead to six. What a brilliant try there. There was actually not, didn't look like there was much, much going on or much on there. So you see the replay here. Well, it was this cutout pass, wasn't it? That wide pass to start with, and this one here from Smith. She looked like she was going to kick it. And a brilliant ball there. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. But good ball movement, good ball movement. A little bit of a step back in and a dive. What a beautiful try there. Yeah, Imogen Edmonds getting that one. Wow, wow Mount Albert up tempo. Energetic game has been rewarded at the moment. It has. Like some, somewhat like uh, the Howard Hornets, how they come out um, firing in the second half. The Lionesses are doing exactly the same. Now this kick, the wind will be much more behind Kafa. So let's see if she can she'll poke this one over. Very distinctive... Uh, Walk back style for her. <laughs> Just didn't quite have the the distance. So sixteen to ten. 
had the direction but just didn't have the distance. Off the back of some good go forward from the Lionesses um, forward pack there. McCarty taking a couple of good hit ups, just powering through the middle and nothing fancy, just getting go forward and sometimes that's all you need is someone to just get the momentum, get going forward and then off the back of that playing footy and that's what the Lionesses just did there. Yeah, it's been well executed since half time, that's for sure. And Otahu just haven't had any decent ball yet in the second half. No, they haven't made they have much position at all. Good take. Yeah, Quidley. And here comes McCarty again. And it was just like that the last set. McCarty hit hard by Rupini. And the other player was Avery Rose Carmont, the same two players. Now McPherson. Offload it. Happy to keep the ball in hand. Cook standing at first receiver again. McCarty again. Oh, well, she's lost it, and there's going to be a penalty right on halfway here. So again, no possession for the Leopards. It's all been Mount Albert since half time. Well, they had two players in the tackle there, Crystal. Yeah, they did. It's a bit of a silly move trying to strip the ball when it's when you know your other you know your other players in the tackle with you because you're never going to win in that instance. And straight away Mount Albert again asking questions of Otahu's defence. Tremendous first carry there from McPherson. And here's Cook. Oh, she's scragged high there, but referee's happy for that play to continue. Cook's not though. Amosatiro. Here's Quinley. Tafa. Ossetiro slots into dummy half again. Here's Cook. Here's McCarty. McCarty. That's the try line. There's only two metres out. Now Albert. Been on fire since half time. Can they add a third try? There's Smith going over. Philippa Smith, another score for Mount Albert. Well, I don't know what they had in their drinks at half time, Crystal, but it's working. Yeah, maybe some pre-workout to bring up the energy because that's what they've definitely done. They've definitely brought the energy this uh, second half. Um, Mount Albert's really been capitalising on uh, uh, the Leopards' markers. They've been, um, you know, not square and um, not working out of marker and the Lionesses have been hitting in, in, behind, in behind the block hole there and it's been working for them. They've been getting good metres off that and off the back end of that. Here's another try. So tries to Manasi to Edmonds and now Smith all since half time five tries they've scored now to two and now Tafa with uh, what's going to be an easier conversion attempt it's closer to the post so see if uh, this two points is important here to Crystal she can just nudge this over yeah, put them two 12. converted tries ahead. Makes you look, as a player, you know, or the coach makes you feel that little bit more safer. She's pushed it astray, so 20 points to 10. So Atahu will just be saying, hey guys, two converted tries. Yep. We're back in this. We're not just back in it, we're leading. If we two, yep, two converted tries, we could win this. That'll be the chat. From the Leopards, they're still in the game, still plenty of time. They just got to get the ball. Yeah. <laughs> well, they haven't had, had had any opportunity this second half. All they've been doing is kicking off. Kicking off and defending. Tackling. Yeah. Well, let's see if they can buck that trend now. Hila tries again for the Leopards. They change of direction this time. And here's McPherson, Natasha McPherson with the first carry. 
good dominant tackle. Got her on her back. Cook. Just a flip little play back to McCarty again. And that works, that play has worked super well for Mount Albert through this game. They've run that multiple times. Lovely little jab here from Amos Sotiro. Here's McCarty again. Amos Sotiro. Quedley looking to cook something up. Look at the pace from Lydia Quedley. And there's another try for Mount Albert. Just too good. Too much space behind the ruck. Lydia Quedley goes over. And Mount Albert really kicking clear now. Seen with uh, Lydia Quidley there just identifying, talking to her outsides, telling them where she wanted them to run, and then she just went herself. Individual brilliance. 24 years of age, come back to Mount Albert from Richmond Rovers, but uh, she has uh, experience in Australia. Former Cook Islands World Cup player in 2017. Good pace. Yeah. She's got good league IQ. She Crystal. definitely does. And you need good, you know, you need good, good um, IQ when you're playing in the halves. And like I was saying earlier, you could tell she was identifying when the defence and telling her, um, her outsides where where they need to be running. And after all, she ended up running herself and getting herself a four pointer. Well, this is some second half from Mount Albert. They were trailing 10-8 at half time, and they've scored four tries, banged out four tries since half time now. Fifteen minutes, just about. That uh, lead might go to 16 if Tafa here can convert this try. Sine Tafe, or Taufa rather. Oh. Of course that would happen. Yes. Now we know the wind is coming from left to right, right? The <laughs> ball falling in that direction. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> She guides that one through. That's the first successful kick of the afternoon for her. Seen McCarty on the bench there having a well-deserved rest after all the hard work she's been doing. Yeah, she's been terrific in the, sec in the second half in particular. Really powered up the middle nicely. That's going to be a hard, hard task back for... Tahu now, but still not impossible. But they've just got to put more defensive pressure on Mount Albert. Yeah, Mount Albert are throwing some, some good attack um, out there and obviously resulting in three tries in quite a short time span. Here comes Mount Albert Lionesses again. Kaya back out there for his second stint of this game. Takes the first carry. Rui Mato Amosatiro being lively wearing the 14 jersey, but Cook has certainly been influential. And now here's McPherson again. Ooh. That was a hit, wasn't it, from Pakaya? Um, Pakaya. There's Leia Tower. Yep, absolutely banged her onto the turf. And here comes Smith again. Score of a try in the second half. Good run. Now Albert rolling forward again. Amosatiro looking for a penalty. Not getting one from the referee on that occasion. There's Cook's pass. Quigley with the kick. That could be tricky in the wind. And oh, oh, it's been lost in the in goal. I thought she would have left that. But there's a penalty to Utahu. I think there might have been some players in an offside position when Quigley kicked that one. So uh, Utahu lucky, maybe touch there. But they get the ball finally, Crystal. But there's only 80 metres to go. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the best position, but at least they have the ball. They must be so tired from defending back to back. So let's hopefully hope they capitalise on this opportunity that they're getting here with the ball in hand. 
Oh, they can't make a mistake, that's for sure. They just need some forwards to put their hands up and just get some go for it and some momentum happening. Well, that was one of the outside backs doing it, Henry. And Albert haven't done a lot of tackling in the second half. Oceania, Laetawa. Come on at dummy half. That's Shamkul. Shamkul taking the gap. Good hands. Here's a chance. It's a good run coming in from Ufakine Niafu. Oh, but hesitant at dummy half there as Louis picks up the tricks from fullback now. Angelina Leotawa in space. There she goes, Angelina Leotawa. Oh, stop it. Oh. How good is she? Hat trick. Just what the Leopards needed. Someone to put their hand up and go for it. And who other than Angelina Leotawa? I reckon that's the first time she's touched the ball in the second half. That's why they haven't scored. <laughs> <laughs> well, how good was that try? That was great. Tremendous play. And here's Leia Tower, so let's count how many she gets through here. We'll count that four, three, four, four, and then five. five. What a legend. So 26 to 14. Well, that gives some, the Leopards a bit of hope. There's still 20 minutes to play. Still plenty of time in the sure game. Is. Momentum can switch here. This could be a turning point for the Leopards. And Manasi converts to try. Or rather, that was uh, Henry who converted that try for Tahu. So it is 26 to 16 now. Prior to them scoring that try, Glenn, I was just about to say, look at the um, the Lionesses' defence and their line speed, and they had all pushed up, but I think it, they'd pushed up too far, and then they made that break. So um, good urgency there, but good identity from the, the Leopards to sort of see that. Well, we'll see our man Albert now react to this. So 10-point margin with just under 20 to play. Straight away back into the action comes Jadeen Rupini for Otahu. Here's Laotau, the try scorer. We're going to bust through more tackles. Look at it go. Looking for a hip drop tackle there, maybe. On here. <laughs> Didn't like it. Look at her mouthing off. <laughs> Here's Oceania Leia Tower now. Oh, oh, little knock on. And Cook's got it. Look out. Moana Cook. Has she got the pace? Yes. Moana Cook, what a finish. What a finish. And the try on Jelena Leia Tower scored has been scrubbed out immediately with a sensational effort there from Moana Cook. And what a deserved try. She's been brilliant this whole game. Playing 13, but playing in the middle of the field and playing that ball, playing um, middle. See the replay here. Well, good on Cook there. That little nudge forward from Carmon. And Cook was aware the ball was still alive, Crystal, and off she went. Yeah, that's where you've got to sort of play to the ref. You, you think, oh, no, it's going to be a knock-on, and you just watch the ball, and then you have someone like... Um, Wana Cook just pick up the ball and pace the burn all the way to the try line. We've been talking about her earlier in the game, Glenn, where she's just playing those drop plays through the middle of the park, and you know she was just find, feeding her props through the middle and getting them behind the ruck, and it was getting um, good momentum for Mount Albert, and now she's just got herself a four pointer. Well, let's see if Tafa can uh, convert this try she can so she's two from seven on the day now 
32 to 16. So back to a 16 point margin. Well, the Leopards just got to keep believing. So far, the Lionesses with a sensational second half. Five tries in the second half now to them. The Henry restarts play. Leopards need a good defensive set here. Sumalo, it is. Cook, the try scorer. Almost losing it. Was well, Pukaya, but she did well to hold on to the ball. And then look for the penalty. Quedley's away again. Here's Tafa. Trying to stay in the field of play. Can't do so. Good defense that time from the Leopards. This is what the Leopards need. Yeah, got a bit of real estate to work with. Still a way to go, but... That was a better defensive set from them. Let's see what the Leopards are made of on the set. Rupini with the first carry. Come on, Waits. Dummy half. And now here comes Schmidt. Sopoanga. Henry, nice ball. Brings Louis in from fullback. It's better play from Otahu. And earning the penalty as well. Fair call there by the referee. That player, Smith, just lying on Louis just a little bit too long. Tapping it. Yep. Good defense. Come on, at dummy half. Here's Oceania Leotawa. Almost squeezing between those two defenders. Leopards looking to get organized as they continue to go through the set. Look to get in good field position to mount something. Come on. Another penalty that time. Maybe had a little high there, perhaps. Avery Rose, come on. Well, you think at the scoreline here, Crystal, at 32-16, they've got a score really in the set to stay in it. Yeah, they definitely do. You get some shape. It's Fakal Salia with that carry. And now, here come the Leopards again. Laetawa. Dragged to deck this time by Smith. Hard player to bring down. Come on again. The Leopards. That's the try line right there and getting close. Here's for Ousili Tulua. Come on. Oh, it's gone to deck and there's the desperation defense from Cairns to jump on it for Man Albert. Good defensive set. It sometimes comes down to who wants it more, and she definitely wanted it more in that instance. Murphy now for Mount Albert. Oh, it's lost, and now here <laughs> Leopards again. Henry. There's a big charge into the line from the Leopards. That was Tulua, Mercy Tulua. 
Here they come again through Shamko and now Laetawa again. Look at the numbers on her. Angelina Laetawa. She's still, still going. there. She's still going. Oh, she didn't get that down, surely. She's held up. I think half the Mount Albert team <laughs> were there stopping her. Which means there's got to be a gap somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. It's hopefully, um, Carmen's looking where the space is now that Laetawa's drawing everyone to the middle of the field. Henry. Linus has readjusted though. Here's Carmont. And Tulua once more. No space for Mercy Tulua there. Another county's 18s player from last year. Playing Women in League Premiership for Otaho. Here's Tower squeezing between defenders. Another try. <laughs> Magnificent. That's four tries to her now. She just wants to play the game by herself. What a try. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Unstoppable. Unstoppable, right? She looks absolutely knackered too. Yeah. She had three attempts to score that try and third time lucky. Wow, what a powerhouse. What a captain. Oh, she's leading by example, that's for sure. If that's not motivation as a, as a player, for, you know, when you have your captain to look up to, scoring four tries and just doing everything, putting her body on the line, you know, just grinding even though she's absolutely had it. I know that's what I'll, that's the kind of captain I'd like to look up to and um, I'd like to play alongside, that's for sure. So the conversion success from Henry is successful rather, and it's two from two for her on the day. So we're back to a 10-point game, 32-22. to 22. NRLW scouts and coaches sign her up. Leia Tower. Yes. Yeah. Have to. What's going on here? Time off. Well, it's been an entertaining game, and it's still not done with yet. Time on. Mount Albert, still not a match-winning lead, you'd have to say. Oh, that's been lost forward by Mount Albert. Just what the Leopards were looking for, an error from the kickoff. Oceania Laetawa. Oh, it's lost. Big call, big play right there. And, and Albert have it again through Albert Jones. Kins now for the Lionesses. Absolutely critical here that Otaho will hold them out to have any hope in this contest. Here's Pukaya. Out it comes to Sumalu. Driving defence that time from Laotawa. That's Cairns with the ball. Here's Smith. Lovely little inside play to Muffy. Muffy looking to, to a Laotawa. Cairns a dummy half. Poor pass this time. Quedley picks it up though nicely. Big cut out pass here. Here's a chance for Mount Albert. It's That's short. Lelenoa just short there for the Lionesses. Smalu looking back on that right edge. The last play now for Mount Albert. It's Quedley. Quedley's not going to get it down. She's held up. Well, well, well. Otahu, hold on. Still time in this game, Glenn. 
10 minutes 20, 10 points to try and get. Well, they've got 90 metres to go, but they ticked that off. Really important they didn't concede there, and they've managed to hold on. So let's see what Marsh can do. She put a big shot on in the first half, and that's payback. <laughs> Henry. See the urgency in the Lionesses defence now. Yeah, McCarty's back on there, number 10. Provides some much needed sp a steal up the middle of the field. Come on. Here is Shamko. Fancy from the Leopards on this set. Just need to get clear of their red zone. Still in their own half. Need to get a good kick up. Low tower it is. Nicely taken there by Manasse for Mount Albert. And all they need to do now, Crystal, is to get to their kick. Yes, Mount Albert just need to play their set out, play safe. Don't try and force the pass. Get the kick downtown and defend. Muffy. Eight and a half to play. Look like we've got a play down in backfield. I wonder if it's cramp again. And an injury there for Tahu's number 14. That's Lukiyasha Schmidt Sokwanga. Maybe a knee by the look of that limp. Hope not. She's uh, again a young player with a lot of promise. And that's unfortunate. Yeah, she's just out of school now. First year out of high school. Rama Cook on the bench there, having a well deserved rest, munching on some lollies. Back out there for one last stint, maybe. Eight and a half to play. Might need her just yet. So here comes Mount Albert. Araya, it is. Hit nice and hard there. Amosatiro. Queerly. Nice play to Smalu. Good tackle. That needed to be made from Fatmosili Tulua. Queerly again looking to cook something up. Lilinoa. Penalty oh, goes against uh, uh, Otahu. That's a big call there. Just the ticket for the Lionesses as they look to close out this win with eight minutes to play. Tafa. Kins. Sumalo. Good tackling coming in there from Kakao Salia for Otahuhu. And now here is Araya again. Five metres out. Matt Albert looking to ice the game. Amosatiro. That's Smith. It's right there. Oh, that could be a try in the corner. I reckon that could be a score. No, it isn't. No, it forward. Wow, well, that was a very close call right there, Crystal. It was looking promising. That good ball movement there. Oh, yes. wasn't able to pick it up. Well, the officials got that one spot on in the end. And now Tahu needs to go the length of the field here. Now, now have been coming up with some really good um, attacking plays. They've had a... Uh, Quidley on the right edge has been has been brilliant and then they had Moana Cook going through the middle there as well and Smith on the left edge, they've got a good combination with their ball playing right across the field Yes they have now Utahu have got to pretty much do that right now themselves 
get the try at the other end of the field, which might put them in the hunt with a last minute victory. But this keen Mount Albert defence is doing an excellent job halfway through the set. Yeah, they've got really good line speed. Um, the Lionesses showing a lot of urgency on defence. Oh, she's not going anywhere fast, is she? Of course, Celia. Sean back on the inside. That's better. Bit of go forward coming for Tahu on that occasion. Leia Tower in a bit of trouble. She gets the kick away, but it's messy. Didn't get much distance on it. And picking it up is Manasi. So set starts on the halfway line. Five minutes to go. The Smith. Line speed from Otahu, not great on that one, Crystal. No, not at all. Bit of, bit of a s slow transition for the Leopards. Wasn't much kick pressure. Muffy. Oh, nice. Good tackle Good coming tackle. on Muffy. Needed to be made, that one. Good tackle from Henry. Here's Smith again. Oh, and I has dropped it. Getting a little messy on that play. And oh, but unlucky there. To that point, they've done played that last set very well. See a lot of fatigue setting in now. Yeah, first game <laughs> of the season, isn't yeah. it, Crystal? Yeah. Everyone sort of just trying to find some match fitness after having been in the off season, and a lot of teams haven't really had any preseason games. So this is definitely the first up match for for the ladies. Got about the ball at the back of the scrum. Indeed. We almost expected like that. Player to pick it up. So Tahuhu now, again, caught at the wrong end of the field. Louis, good play as Adams gets a chance to run at the defence, but she's back slammed. And that's a dangerous tackle, according to the referee. into the contact. It's very dangerous. Oh, her. Oh, it's hard to tell from the angle. Oh, quickly cramp in the background. Because her head that banged on the ground. Indeed. And Jade Adams is the player here. Must say her hair looks great. She's a hairdresser. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thankfully she's okay. Yeah, she's all right. Took some heavy contact there. Oh, it's a oh, Sinbin. Well, that's interesting. So being Sinbin is Joanne Siamalo. So Otahu have got a one-player advantage with three and a half to play, and they've got to score two tries. Yeah, kick to touch. Take the, as much, get as much territory as you can. They've had a bit of a breather now, so hopefully caught their breath. Looks like uh, Quidley's, Quidley's uh, yeah, cramping. Cramping, still getting cramped. We've had cramp at the end of every game <laughs> yeah. today, haven't we? We have. And all of these three, and it's been the same, <laughs> like hamstrings, isn't it? <laughs> oh, she's oh. getting carried <laughs> off. <laughs> well, we shouldn't laugh because... Uh, Cramp is, uh, as we touched on, it's not the best. I used to cramp bad. I used to have to drink pickle juice every game. Oh. It's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I know she's definitely not, um, she's fit, so it's, it's definitely because she's been working hard. Yeah, she's been a very busy game, right? Yeah, she has. Back into it now. So Mount Albert down a player. Maybe two with Quidley on the sideline. 
So what can Otahuhu do here? They've really got to score from the set, Chris, do you think? Yeah, well, hope, I, I mean, they should definitely score. I, I think Quidley's still off on the side. I don't think they've replaced her, so... Oh, oh get the ball. Oh, boy, no. you see, that's commitment and... and Penalty? Desperation right there. He's going to give the scrum to Otahu. Interesting call. But with two and a half to play. Time is ticking. I'd be looking for Leotau off the scrum, Glenn. Yeah, Quidley's back on there, as we can see. There she is. Straight into it again, but they went low. Good tackle by Murphy that time. Here's Carmont. Leotau getting in position again. Penalty to the Leopards. Ninety seconds. Here's Leia Tower. Marie Shorty will score four tries in the game. She wants five. That would be outrageous, wouldn't it? Here's Carmont. Good option to go short side. Here's Louis. Louis going through. She's 10 metres out. Carmont again. Where's Leia Tower? It's Oceania Leia Tower. Then it comes to Ruapeni. Shamkul. Inside the last minute. Looks good for Mount Albert, doesn't it? Come on. Oh, Passes a shocker. And here comes Mount Albert. Good run of Tafas coming here. And that is excellent scrambling D by Mount Albert. And they're going to get home in this game with a wonderful second half performance. Quedley staying in the field of play. Only just Lelinoa. Been lost by the Lionesses, so it's going to be more possession coming for the Leopards, but... Cramp left, right and centre going on here. Oh. Oh, Fucker Salia is coming off. She did well to be able to run off. So the referee's going to pack the scrum. But it's going to be the win for Mount Albert. And deservedly so. It's been a hard-fought victory, though, Crystal, hasn't it? It has. It's definitely been a battle for both sides. Say, so Leotawa's going off the back of the scrum here. Yep. Well. Well, let's see what the Leopards can do on this last play. Mm. And Mount Albert... Still keeping it alive for Smith. And that is going to be that for the game. Good game of Rugby League, Man Albert. Their return to top flight. Auckland Club Rugby League has been a successful one. They win this game by 32 points to 22, coming back from 10 8 down at half time. Seven tries they scored in the game. And uh, Otahu, well, they scored four tries, all by Angelina Laetawa. What a legend. Both teams should be proud of themselves after that game. Actually, all six teams should be proud of themselves. First game of the season, first hit out, and only up, upwards from here. So everyone's still trying to find their feet in regards to positioning and um, fitness. Uh, so it's it's a it's a good start to the season, and it's a good good to see um, women's rugby league back in our community again. Absolutely. Well, congratulations to Mount Albert. They win this game by 32 points to 22. Congratulations to Otara Scorpions beating the defending champions Manarewa by 80 points to six. And congratulations to Howick, who proved too good for City earlier today by 38 points to 10. Thank you for watching this triple header today uh, we'll be back for more Auckland Rugby League on Wednesday night it's the first night of action coming up
from North Harbour Stadium. We'll have a men's game in the Fox Premiership from 6 o'clock. One of the teams we know will be Point Chev. Their opponent will be confirmed probably any minute. And then we will have a match between Man Albert again. And they're going to play the defending champions, Manu Rewa. That one's going to kick off at 8 o'clock. So double header coming up on Wednesday. Both games will be streamed again here on Auckland Rugby League's YouTube channel. But we'll also have live coverage on Sky Sport as well. Thanks, Crystal. Thank you, Glenn. Looking for, looking forward to calling more calls with you through the year, as yeah. well as Charlotte Scanlon. And on behalf of the team that brought you the coverage here today from the stream shop, farewell and matewa.